my name is Venkat and I Venkat Subara Pol City. I do have 13 plus years of experience uh, into the .NET and uh, the Microsoft business applications and also the uh, Power Platform as well. So just I started uh, uh, from uh, the .NET uh, for a few years and uh, and from uh, almost from eight years I am into the uh, Dynamics CRM and also the Power Platform. But I have not uh, left the .NET. Just I am working uh, the .NET as well as a part of the Azure integrations uh, kind of stack. So generally, uh, system engineer and uh, the lead software engineer, architect and technical architect, technical manager. So for every company, the job, these particular terms will be common, but uh, the roles and responsibilities and the job description will be going to differ. Okay, so based upon the job description and also based upon the roles and responsibilities, you have to act it. Example, you might be a system engineer, but you might be first only one person in the project. So during that particular case, you have to uh, play the role of an engineer, in a junior engineer or in a developer and also a lead and also as a manager. And if you go with uh, the project uh, size and all, then uh, this uh, will come here. And for these business applications, right in the current role where I'm using this uh, uh, lead software engineer. So <clears throat> by the role, I'm a lead software engineer engineer but uh, in the project I will be doing the architect uh, kind of uh, deliverables and also I'll be working with uh, directly working with the product owners and also the product groups and understanding the business problems and providing uh, the solutions that are required as per the product feasibility and all. So business applications, uh, you can see, right, uh, Microsoft have uh, the number of products and the number of uh, different uh, stacks are present, out of which these business applications, we call generally the Microsoft business applications, where uh, the Dynamics CRM and uh, the Power Platform, all these things comes into the picture. So Dynamics CRM in layman terms, uh, it is a kind of an ERP product that is from, that was present uh, from uh, the number of years and uh, it is a Microsoft product which will generally help like to resolve uh, the customer problems uh, by directly just taking that particular product and using it. So coming to the C-Sharp corner, um, also I'm an MVP, right? Uh, so uh, the major thing is to become for this particular MVP, right? Uh, just you need to uh, have the contributions that you need to have and also this contribution could be in any of the form. So just uh, in the C-Sharp corner MVP, uh, like I got recognized uh, for the couple of years, so last year and uh, the, the other year as well. So I will do all the my contributions uh, in the form of the business applications like uh, the writing blogs and speaking at the events and uh, organizing uh, the different communities and also the mentoring uh, the people. Uh, and also uh, there are certain other boot camps that will also be present uh, all these things so simply in order to become any uh, mvp irrespective of whether it is in microsoft or the c corner like uh, you should first uh, uh, start contributing to the community so majorly right uh, microsoft mvp this particular title is a responsibility okay so this particular just i will tell you what is a microsoft mvp why it is given so over uh, the uh, globe uh, microsoft identify a set of uh, a few associates few people who are not uh, working within the microsoft outside the microsoft they will uh, identify the people based upon their particular contributions that have been uh, given in the form of uh, like number of ways like uh, could be speaking it could be uh, submitting all the artifacts all these uh, things writing the blogs and uh, building the tools and helping the community and empowering the community and also um, all the other various things and coming to the development right uh, so yes uh, through the community as an mvp you can see the product and based upon the product offerings you can suggest few of the artifacts that can be really useful example in microsoft business applications uh, in the, especially in the power platform we got the pcf uh, gallery so generally this is a uh, pcf gallery uh, is in place where uh, all the community members or all any business application members if they have built any kind of tool which uh, they feel is useful for the other people right they will be simply uploading uh, that particular in the form of the pnp and also uh, this particular PSF, pcf gallery and all so this is where uh, the tech things will comes into the picture in the form of the development and then uh, coming to the community which i have uh, already explained uh, uh, before and then in the form of an innovation right uh, so based upon the customer uh, feeling and uh, as uh, what generally we will uh, wear the hat of uh, asking the questions like uh, the good wish list from the customers saying to the Microsoft like okay so we are working with uh, the different uh, customers and uh, they they are having these particular pain points so based upon these particular pain points we did these kind of customizations and all so 
without doing this particular customizations can we get some kind of things which can be readily useful so that uh, the customers uh, will be delighted with that so in that way we will be having a conversation with the microsoft uh, team in the form of an innovation and also the develop So generally coming to the community work right it is uh, the passion uh, drives any person so it is a passion for me like which comes uh, internally like uh, there is something we have uh, we have got number of things uh, as a consumer and also there are certain other things where we have to again give it give it back to the society so that's where so i generally i will plan the particular things that needs to be done when coming to the plan, my professional work uh, where i am doing i will devote my time to there and for the other things as well i will uh, generally uh, plan them and also act accordingly in that way only uh, i can manage all these things so many of the people will think that community is a blocker uh, but uh, community is not a blocker for uh, the work professional work that will be doing it and also just uh, as in uh, uh, microsoft uh, mvp right we will get uh, uh, okay we will get certain uh, things like uh, we will have certain calls that will be directly uh, we'll get the chance to speak with uh, the microsoft uh, uh, employees so the microsoft managers they just imagine if you are using a product Uh, that particular product product uh, who is the developer that who has uh, gave this particular product right we will get the chance to speak with uh, them with the product groups and all so there uh, there we will get certain news before because uh, if you are getting uh, any particular uh, details that are present in the market before getting released into the market right then we will get uh, a particular stage that will be arranged by the microsoft where we will uh, interacting with them but all these details are nda so we know it but we cannot uh, share it uh, uh, to the public by because once until and unless uh, the microsoft officially release it so that's where uh, we will uh, get that opportunities whenever we became an mvp Microsoft right uh, from the beginning uh, uh, it has uh, this particular formula it is present the sustainability and diversity also and from uh, the few years uh, uh, Microsoft was more concentrating on kind of the AI integration with all these particular products when coming to the business applications Microsoft business applications right the recent one is the uh, chat gpt where we do have the respective apis that are also present uh, where we can uh, directly from business applications we do have the power automate flows and all we will be trying to leverage that particular APIs and also the chat GPT and also few of the AI features. <laughs> Actually, in our business applications, also we do use this particular AI like building the model. Like example, we do have in Power Apps uh, certain apps that are present where where we train the model based upon this particular model uh, uh, with this particular AI artificial intelligence uh, algorithms that will be that will run the backend uh, like uh, the identification of an objects based upon the uh, objects. getting the details of it example if you scan one particular uh, <coughs> visiting card then you then the ai models will extract whatever the information that is provided that is present on a particular visiting card and uh, store them into the database so that's how uh, this particular uh, uh, working of this business application with the ai go up but in the coming future we see more of the things that will be uh, happening in uh, the tech world of the ai and you will see the more things more interesting things that will be coming from the microsoft side with respect to the business applications the respect you of uh, the technology that you are be right first few of the things that you need to consider if you are a developer right first at least you need to have one development uh, uh, technologies that you uh, that you need to have like uh, the coding so in order to write that particular code what kind of you need one particular language so obviously you need to uh, get that particular la- language and this particular language will be the front end front end uh, languages will be present and also the back end languages will also be present just uh, you have to get uh, good hands on and experience on these uh, things and coming to the technology right you definitely uh, at least you should have the exposure of one of the cloud uh, uh, things uh, that needs to be uh, that you have to learn irrespective of the providers that you will be having it so definitely microsoft azure is was playing a major role across it and in the coming uh, in the past years if you compare right microsoft has uh, um, went into number of uh, land uh, went ahead into the number of uh, good players outside uh, the uh, world and also like uh, there are number of things that are present like artificial artificial intelligence and the machine uh, learning uh, machine learning and also the uh, the cryptos and also the web 3.0 and also other things that are also present so and also the data analytics and also uh, the new things that are uh, present right so just these are all uh, the hot things that are uh, present in the market where 
most of the investments are uh, going on so you should reskill you, sh- you should learn and uh, unlearn and also upskill yourself as a student as well as well as the kids the tech trends uh, i'll be betting on more on uh, uh, the cloud and also the business applications like the customer feel friendly related uh, products will be coming in future and also the more kind of automations that will be uh, coming so that is where uh, i'll be betting on most on the cloud and also the automation and also the cloud uh, the customer uh, delight what i will uh, say to uh, any person who is particular uh, with the podcast or uh, the recording of this one right uh, please get it get, get involved in uh, uh, any partic- in any community of any sort there you will get uh, all the networking that is present that is what uh, the one thing that i would like to say in length and breadth